Paula Roy is a host here on Rogers TV. She is host of Paula Roy's Favorite Foods, and she's here because we're going to be talking about making food that is gift worthy. That's right, absolutely. Great idea. It takes a lot of the stress out of the holidays. Shopping, I find stressful. Yeah. You worry about the money. Is it going to be the right thing? What if they don't like it? What if they have to return it? What about gift receipts? Food takes it off the table. Absolutely. And it's not hard to do. And packaging. There are so many cool, inexpensive ways to package food that just makes it a beautiful gift. And I think it's important to take that extra step because it shows people it's not that you're trying to save money, that you actually care about them yes. and you care enough to package it up. So we so can start there, sure. So these are all things I've collected from local dollar stores. And it's amazing really? what you can find. So cute little Ziploc bags with Christmas motifs on them in different sizes. Uh, little cloth bags. I really like these boxes with windows in the front. Um, all kinds of sort of Chinese takeout boxes, treasure chests. It's all there. These are amazing. Yeah. And, and you don't have to spend a lot. Well, exactly. And be creative. I found these, uh, these bags actually at the dollar store that were burlap. Yeah. Little tiny burlap bags with little polka dots and stuff. So you can really source some awesome and things. And glue gun a fresh store. sprig of evergreen to that. Great idea. You know, just to fancy it up or a couple of pine cones. So you can just dress it up. But I kind of keep my eyes open as soon as the Halloween stuff is gone and grab whatever I can see that I like. And then check right after Christmas, mm -hmm. even at arts and crafts supply stores, they have some really great stuff. So once I know I have the packaging in hand, then I can move on to the fun part, which okay. is the creating. So okay. one of the newest things I'm doing this year is a chocolate balsamic syrup. <gasps> Or sauce so good so you just reduce the balsamic down and then make a chocolate syrup with cocoa and water and wow. uh, vanilla a few other things combine them together great um, as a glaze on meat for example or cocktails vodka soda chocolate balsamic oh I'm so there yeah it it's delicious <laughs> looking at me saying oh no you're not <laughs> <laughs> really, really, really delicious. So that's a really fun, versatile thing. Also great drizzled on ice cream or fresh oh. fruit or anything like that. So, And uh, not hard to make. Simple bottle from the dollar store. Oh. Again. Okay. So another favorite uh, one of mine are these cute little peppermint meringues. They just, I don't know, it looks like something from Whoville to me. They're adorable. Um, and I got, I got these window boxes with a cute owl motif on them from the dollar store. You can make hundreds, literally hundreds of these in about 20 minutes. It's so, so, so simple to make them. You just make a meringue, whipping up egg whites and sugar, peppermint extract, put it in a Ziploc bag, cut the corner, pipe them in these little dollops, sprinkle crushed candy canes on top into the oven to dry out. Okay. So simple. And there's not really an alcohol theme here, but a little. So <laughs> this recipe is in the current issue of Ottawa at Home magazine, and it's a spiced Canadian whiskey. So spiced things are ooh, popular. I'm just going to open the lid so you can have a little sniff of this because oh, it smells sniff. so... Well, you can take a swig if you want. So good. Yeah. Just so what, is, what is in there? So uh, vanilla beans, we've got some cinnamon sticks, some star anise, some rye, which is Canadian whiskey, cloves, and you can add, if you like, a peppery note, you can put in some crushed peppercorns. So how long does that have to sit to really a week, infuse A week is the... great, and okay. longer is better. So now, now like, now's the time to start making these things so that you're not panicking around the 23rd. On the rocks. Yeah. How awesome would that be? Or on ice cream. Just saying. Really good. Sorry, Kathy. In coffee, yeah. <laughs> so another go-to for me are these spice nuts. So it's a combination of cashews and pecans and almonds and walnuts and pistachios and so on. A mixture of maple syrup and uh, veg vegetable oil, a little bit of salt, chopped rosemary, and some chili powder. Okay. And then I found these cute little candle holders actually at Ikea and bought a whole bunch. And so you can package the nuts up so they stay nice and fresh. And then just tuck the whole thing in a bag tie a ribbon on and you've got a really 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 pretty gift and then they've got the useful candle holder to do use later. Do you do a lot of these things every lots year for Christmas? And lots and lots. You do? Yeah, like yeah I love it too. I think of uh, when my kids were younger great teacher gifts um, for my neighbors mm. who do helpful things yes. for me, my hairdresser, um, the nice ladies in the doctor's office, anybody yes. really. Yes. And they like it because it doesn't carry a lot of weight it's not like oh gosh she spent money on me I should buy her something yes. they can people can just accept a food gift in which, the spirit in which it's being delivered which I really really like so gone are the days necessarily that everything has to be baked like baked cookies and shortbread. that's right you can really branch out into some really cool stuff and people often have their own favorites their family traditions when it comes to baking so I don't want to run in their parade they might love Aunt Mary's shortbread recipe right make it Absolutely. enjoy it For so sure. these are things they might not consider making themselves where would you 
source a lot of this uh, ideas? You go, you go on. Do you go online? And, I don't. And I tend to just create based on what my okay. current tastes are. I happen to have a really big rosemary plant one year, and it's like, what could I do that's different with rosemary? And I thought nuts, rosemary and nuts would be a good combination. But that's because I spent so much time developing recipes right. that my brain right. is just kind of doing right. that. But there's tons of good ideas on the internet, including lots of edible gifts on my blog, Constantly Cooking. Ah, that's so, where we want to go. There you go. So right. last up, I'm going to have you help me create spiced olives, which we have in a jar here. Okay. And they're um, delicious with uh, sort of the peppery and spicy notes, as well as some thyme and lemon. And again, uh, these are so available, these mason jars. Yep. Really cute ones. Yeah, as you mentioned, the ones with the little chalkboard the ones front with on the little them. Chalkboard on the front where you can write the person's name. Colorful lids Love and it. so on. Okay. So you're going to start by scooping olives into this jar, and I really like okay. these jars for assembling if you're doing these projects with kids, okay. because it's easier for them to get the things in there. You want all of them in there? Um, that's probably good for now. Okay. So then you're going to add in some thyme, lemon peel, and red pepper flakes, and you just have to dump it on. It's very simple. Maybe tuck the lemon down a little bit. Perfect. Yep. And then and a these are red, red pepper flakes or oh crushed um, dried chilies, goodness. so you get that nice little pop of heat. And then some sprigs of fresh rosemary, oh, personal favorite of I, mine. Personal favorite of mine yep, too. That's it. Love and it. then you know you want a good quality olive oil. You're going to uh, oh, pour olive oil on top. Yeah. And I like this Oliva olive oil. It's got a really nice, um, clean but robust flavor. And are we the best part the jar? is, yeah, right up to just below the surface. Uh, afterwards, you can use the leftover oil once you've eaten the olives to drizzle on pizza, on pasta, and so oh. on. So I always let my recipients know that they're kind of getting two mm. gifts in one. And then okay. we'll just put the lid on. And that's it. How long did that take? Not long. Not long, exactly. And okay. the jar is just so pretty. Thank you so much, Paula. Thank, Thank you. you. And happy holidays. Happy holidays to okay, you too. Okay, there's more daytime coming up, so stay tuned. We'll be right back.